Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So it's pretty early in the morning right now. I have to leave in about five minutes because I'm going to get my hair done right now and I'm so excited. So my hair is like pretty blonde right now. I mean, it's not super blonde, but it's definitely probably one of the lightest that I've ever had my hair but I'm kind of just over it now and I just want my dark hair back. I usually have dark hair most of the time, but when I was in New York and stuff, I was kind of lightening my hair a little bit. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm going to get my hair pretty dark. I'm a little nervous because I haven't had dark hair in kind of a while, so I kind of forget what I look like with dark hair, but we'll see in a little bit. So this is what I'm wearing. I'm just wearing this sweatsuit from Aritzia. And then just this little bra top. I'm pretty sure this is from Aritzia too. So just a super comfy outfit. I'm not really sure how long it's going to take, but I wanted to be comfy. So this is what I'm wearing, and I'm going to get a snack before I leave, and then I'm going to head out. Okay, I'm in the car now. My camera is going to keep moving because I'm driving, but I'm almost to the hair salon. It was about, yeah, this is going to be annoying. Um, hopefully that stays. But it was about like a half hour drive. I'm like five minutes away. I've been there before. Um, I'm getting my hair done with, her name's Sydney. I used to dance with her and she's so good with hair. She's more of like, um, like I think her specialty is like blonding and like doing highlights and that kind of stuff. But she's super good and I have done highlights with her before. So yeah, I'm not really sure like how dark I'm gonna go, but my hair is up pretty light right now. I used to have, I don't know if I said this before, but I used to have um, like really dark hair when I was in high school. I had it for probably a few years and then my junior year, I'm pretty sure, I started getting highlights and then I just went like super, super blonde. And then I kind of went like back dark for a little bit. And then when I went to New York, um, like in the fall, I started going light again. And I like, like my light hair and everything. I just feel more like myself when I have dark hair. I feel like it's definitely going to take me a little bit to get used to just because I haven't had dark hair in such a long time. It's 8.52 right now and my appointment's at 9 and me and Nathan have to go up to Kent today because we're going to do some tours of apartments there for next year. So our first tour is at 2 o'clock, I'm pretty sure 2 or 2.30. So once my hair appointment is done, I'm just going to go pick him up from his house and we'll probably just go straight there. So hopefully we have time to pick up lunch or something because I said I was going to get a snack before I left and then I just like forgot to get one. So hopefully we have time to get food because I'm probably going to be starving. Okay. I just got here. This is my last time filming with blonde. I keep saying blonde. It's not super blonde, but it's also not brown. It's kind of just like right in between. Yeah, I guess the front pieces are pretty light. I do really like my hair right now and I'm gonna miss it being light sometimes, but I feel like I'm just gonna feel more like myself with dark hair. So yeah, I'm gonna text her that I'm here and then I'm gonna go inside. Okay, I'm back in the car now and I'm literally driving right now, so it's gonna be hard to show my hair, but it's so dark and I love it so much. It like blends in with my coat because I'm wearing a black coat right now. But it looks so good. I was gonna stop and like show my hair before I left the salon, but it's almost one o'clock and we have our appointment coming up to tour apartments up in Kent. So I have to go pick up Nathan right now and then I'll show my hair a little bit better. But it looks so good and she trimmed it too. I feel like it makes me look a little bit pale right now just because I haven't been in the sun in so long. But we're going on vacation, not this week, but next week. So I'm excited to like have a tan and have my super dark hair. I feel like I can't stop touching it. It's so soft. Oh, I love it. No, I just need to get back. Oh, no, don't get off. It always does that. Okay, it's actually a few days later now and I forgot to end off this vlog from when I got my hair done a few days ago. So I thought that I would end it off now, but before I do that, I wanted to show some things that I got from Sephora. I just picked up a few things because I really just wanted to get this blush, so then I just picked up a few other little things. So this first thing is Makeup by Mario blush in the shade Poppy Pink. It's just like a really pretty 
pink color and I have been using that Dior blush that like everyone's obsessed with but I feel like you kind of have to really build it up to even like see the color so I thought this color was pretty similar and I like a lot of Makeup by Mario's products so I figured this would be pretty good so I'll probably try that out today and then I also just got this Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen. I always use the, the Super Goop Glow Screen but I'm going on vacation soon and I just wanted a little like um, sample size just to bring this with me so I don't have to bring the full thing. I do like the glow one better than the unseen one but this will be fine just to bring on vacation. And then I also just got this Benefit 24 hour brow setter. I can never really find a brow setter that I like. I usually use the Benefit Gimme Brow but I'm not like really obsessed with it and so this one I don't think has a shade or anything. Yeah, it's invisible. So I thought that I would just try this one out. This is just like a little small version. So I thought I would try it out before I buy the big version. And then this is the Iconic London Radiance Booster. My mom uses this and I really like it. So I picked one up of my own. It's in the shade... Um, I'm not really sure what shade this is. In the shade Sand Glow. And this is kind of like a darker shade than I am right now. But since it's so sheer, you can kind of get away with using a darker shade because it's not super full coverage at all. It kind of reminds me of the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. It's not like the exact same and this is definitely more of like a foundation I would say than the Charlotte Tilbury one but I've used this before and I really like it. And then lastly from Sephora, I just got this Tom Ford perfume. I've been kind of like into perfumes lately. I have all my perfumes sitting out right here. I just recently got this one. This one smells really good. It's the Valentino, I don't remember what it's called. Something, I think like Born in Roma or something, something along those lines. Um, so I've been using that one, but like I said, I'm going on vacation. So I wanted a scent that was kind of like summery and more of like a floral scent because these ones are all very wintry, especially this one. This is the KKW, I think, Courtney's from the Diamond Collection or something like that. So all of those are just very wintry scents. So I got this one and it smells so good. And I just got the trial size or whatever you call it because the Tom Ford perfumes are so expensive. And I wanted to make sure that like I liked how it wore and stuff. So I just got the small one to try to bring on vacation with me. So yeah, that's everything I got from Sephora. And then I also just got some clothes in the mail a few days ago. I wanted to get just a few outfits for our trip. We're only going for three nights and four days. So I just wanted to get like just one outfit to wear that like I haven't worn before. So I just wanted to pick up something new. This is, this is for a bachelorette trip. So that is not for vacation. This is the outfit that I got for our trip. It's from White Fox Boutique. And it is so cute. I've kind of been like really into like blue and oranges recently. I'm not going to try anything on, but this skirt, it just has rings on the side and then it's all like cut open. This lighting is horrible, but it's all cut open on the side. And it's just a little mini skirt and it's like a spandexy material. And then this top is so cute. It's like a corset top and it buttons in the front and then it just sips in the back and this is kind of a different material than the skirt is but it's the same pattern and I thought this was just like super unique and I don't have anything in my closet like this and I just love white fox so much everything always fits me so well and the quality is always so good like this corset is like so thick and it's such good quality and I think everything's in an extra small yeah, the top and the skirt is in an extra small and I'm five foot and it fits me perfectly. So if you were a little bit taller, I would say size up in the skirt because it is kind of short on me and I'm very short. And then I just got this little romper to wear. It's like a cover up to the pool. So I also got this in an extra small and it's just like a terry cloth material and i love just wearing little rompers like this this will be so cute in the summer just to throw on either over a bathing suit or with just like air forces or something so i can't wait to wear this and this also fits me perfectly and it's so comfortable and then i didn't really get this for the trip specifically but i thought this might be cute to wear on the plane or something i'm not 100 percent sure but it's just this oversized sweatshirt it's called the 
best of both oversized sweater in the shade ice blue i know they had a ton of different colors on their website it just says beverly hills white fox los angeles and it's just super oversized i got it in a small medium i'm pretty sure yeah small medium and it's very oversized on me so i'm glad i thought about like going up a size but i'm glad i didn't and then these are the shorts they're like the longer type of shorts and they're just the same color and they're high-waisted and these will even be cute to just wear by themselves like with a bathing suit top or just a little tank top or something so i'll probably wear this either on the plane there or on the plane ride back i'm not 100 percent sure and then i also got some things from sabo skirt i think that's how you pronounce it and i'm not sure where i put that dress i think it's hanging up in my closet because i got that a while ago but these sunglasses are sitting here and i thought these were so cute I thought these would just be, they weren't that expensive, and I thought these would be cute just to, like, take a picture in. But yeah, got those sunglasses, and they came with a little sunglass case, which is always nice. But yeah, that's everything I got from White Fox. And then I also just got this little dress from Princess Polly. It's, like, this mint green color, and I didn't have anything in this color, and I knew that I was dyeing my hair when I ordered this, and I thought this would look really good with my new dark hair i just wanted this to have for summer i'm not going to bring this on vacation with me i don't think because it's just kind of casual but it's super cute and it, this one is also like really short on me too i didn't even know if it would fit me because when i took it out of the box i was like oh my god this is really really short but it actually fits me perfectly so if you're taller go up as high as this also so yeah that's everything that i got and then this was just an outfit that i got for a bachelorette party so yeah, I think I'm going to end this video off here. I'm not really sure how long this whole video is going to be. I just really wanted to vlog getting my hair done and everything. And now that school has started back up and I'm kind of getting back into the swing of things, I'm going to try to start posting a lot more again. It was just hard at first because school was starting and I just had a lot going on. But now that I kind of have a routine going, I'm going to try to start posting a lot more so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any videos. Oh so, yeah, so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next one.